it doing? You are watching Bubba and the Beard Whiskey Reviews. I am Bubba. I am the Beard. We are glad you're here. You're probably glad you're here as well because we got a cool one. Cool. Yeah. I said that pretty cool. It, you cool. said it very cool. I yeah. like cool. cool. Anyway, uh, Jack Daniel Single Barrel Barrel Proof Tennessee Whiskey. Not a bourbon because it's a Tennessee whiskey. Charcoal filtered, right? Uh, Jack Daniels, probably just as recognizable the black bottle as what? The Nike symbol, pretty much. I mean, um, Frank Sinatra brings comes to mind. Oh, yeah, I love Frank. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I wish I knew some Frank on the uke. I'd play it. Yeah. So, uh, however, Ooh, this pretty bottle, pretty is not pretty bottle. the normal black label number seven, old number seven. Uh, everyone drank the old number seven growing up, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, I've, I, don't, I, don't, I, I've drank I might have been, I think I was 15 the first time. I had right? a buddy. Took a little nipper. Play guitar, and he sang a song about the old number seven. Yep. Uh, old number seven, Jack and Coke. Uh, I'm sure most of us have ordered one of those before. Uh, however, this is not a Jack and Coke Jack. This is a, uh, a high-end, uh, higher-end version, I guess. You straight would call. shooter. It's a straight shooter. Now, for those of you that don't know, uh, what's his name here? I have it. Jeff Arnett is now the master distiller at Jack Daniels, or was at least for this uh, article I'm reading. Uh, he was the, he is the f pushing to change just the number seven into multiple things. They started the uh, Sinatra Select or whatever it's called, the Sinatra Collection. Um, also the Single Barrel Select, which is this, but watered down to 94 proof. Mm -hmm. And then obviously now they have the Barrel Proof. You know us. Uh, here at Bubba and the Beard, we are big, big fans of Barrel Proof stuff. Um, I don't think I need to mention uh, any other Barrel Proofs, because we mention them in pretty much every Barrel Proof episode. So, um, One thing I should note before we even get into this, obviously you can see is we have tried this before. This is not... We tried this with the Scotch Just Dummies. We did. After. Yeah. The live show. Um, we did a live show with Scotch Test Dummies. We tested a couple things. We actually got into the ECBP and everything. However, um, what you guys don't see is after the, the after show. We <laughs> the stayed, after after show. We stayed on with them for a number of hours. We, through a number of Four bottles. more whiskeys that we drank. <laughs> uh, and uh, stayed up till the wee hours of the morning. And this was one of the bottles. And by the time the, the uh, live show was over, uh, the beard could no longer form full sentences. What's a sentence? He didn't know. <laughs> yeah, it was... It was a good time. But anyway. We're, where, we're, war, war. Yeah. Are, are, your, your, your. I'm pretty sure there was a point in time where Scott said, did he just talk in French? <laughs> <laughs> so Swami would have understood me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He'd been all him or uh, Hey, I get it. I get what you're saying. So. And what's the ABV on this? What's the proof? Uh, this is a hot one. So we are at 65.65 alcohol by per by volume, 131.3 proof. 131 proof. It's uh, it's up there. It's up there. It's up there. So this is not your normal Jack Daniels. I I, I was on a uh, I don't know if it was a message board or what we were talking about. It might have been on one of the live shows um, where somebody was saying, I will, I will never spend $60 on a bottle of Jack Daniels. Um, before we even knows it, before we even taste it, this is not Jack Daniels. This is Jack Daniels amped up to the highest level. Um, Jack is, Daniels 2. Yeah. To the, to, cranked up to 11. 
Yeah. Spinal Tap reference? Yeah. 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 Spinal Tap. Well, why don't you just make 11 10 and just turn it to 10? Yeah. No, but this one goes to 11. It's, it's 11. This one goes to On 11. On a scale of 10, it's 11. Yeah. So let's... Uh, Let's neat no nose it. Let's uh, hit on the neat nose notes. Uh, boy. It's strong. The old factory nerves get a punch in the face. I get immediately cherry cola. Cherry, like wild cherry Pepsi like or compote. cherry Coke. Cherry. Compote. Cherry yeah. compote. Cherry. If you, if you ever take cherries and you, you grill them. You grill, you grill some cherries. I don't know. You're a grilled cherry. Simmer them right down. Simmer them down to like a compote, right at that point where they're like all, they squishy, cherry squishy, like that that smell that comes out of the squishy cherries as they're grilling. Mm. Yeah, that's that's what that smells like. It's a cherry cherry. I'm I'm very close, and and you guys, and I hate to keep referencing it. It really pains me but um pains him in the butt i, I right, actually right in the a i actually think the nose on this the, just the nose is better than the ecbp nose it's because it has the fruit the yeah. ecbp is molasses and brown sugar and all those dark sugary yeah, notes do. this has a little fruit to it yeah yeah more sure it's more sugar more more mm -hmm. noty on the cherry I'm not so saying good. I'm not saying I like it better than ECBP. I'm just we're gonna saying, find out if we do because we're about ready to taste. So basic. Woo! Hiya! Chihuahua, Mama Mia. Makes me say words that I didn't know I knew. So good, guys. I don't know how to tell you this, but Jack Daniels just decided to take its hat off and throw it right in the ring. Yeah, they just went, and we got you. Wow. They did good. Um, they did really good on that. Very, very rarely do you get mass quantity with this quality. Oh, yeah. It's very delicious. Rarely. It's so good. So good. So I get mm. the, the oak and that... that Again, it's a it's a cherry cola. Yeah. Again, the note the note and the taste go hand in hand. The nose now I know we didn't we didn't actually give a lot of nose notes. It, mainly because the cherry cola and the sugary, the brown sugar just dominate. Yeah. It literally smells like the best and it, it's not even like mass produced cherry cola. It's like when you go to like a 50s style restaurant and you go up to the soda jerk and you say give me a cherry cola. Yeah. And he like whips up something with like maraschino and cherries. And uh Fermented for like six months. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, the the taste I get, I get tons of uh, Dr. Peppery vanilla uh, cherry coke. You're going to write a ditty about it? I feel like it needs to almost be like a metal tune. Like, we need some. Chugga, 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 chugga. <laughs> It's almost like a, a plum, like a, like a, one of those super dark plums mm -hmm. that you get, um, and, it, and like you let it overripe, so it's almost raisiny, like a raisiny plum, like a, starts to go maybe a little bad in a way, a little shrinkage happens and you bite into it and it's just pure, dark, sugary notes. It's delicious. It's, it's very good. It's, it's, uh, it's up there with the, uh. Other bear brews that we know. Yeah, let, let's just say it, the ECB, the Stag, and the Jack Daniels, the Bookers, um, all of those. It's right there with them. Um, Sorry to tell you guys, but uh, Tennessee, they do it good too. Yeah. Remember, uh, wouldn't be any bourbon without the Whiskey Rebellion. I'm not a fan when people turn their nose up, 
especially oh, yeah. to, to oh, the Jack. If it's not bourbon, yeah. If it's not bourbon, I gotta stick my nose up. I don't Come really on. care as long as it tastes good. I don't yeah. care. Bourbon's delicious. <laughs> bourbon is good. Rye is better. <laughs> in your in your opinion. In an our in our opinion. For the most part, yes. <laughs> For the most part. However, um, I I think my favorite genre, if I will use that word, yeah, of whiskey is yeah. the barrel proof bourbon. That's probably my favorite genre. I think I'm a bigger rye whiskey fan than I am of bourbon in general. Mm. <clears throat> but the the whole barrel proof family um, so far has been my favorite to dissect, if you will. Yeah, I get it. Hmm. What do you got to score? 93. 93? I'm a 94. I really, really like it. I do too. A whole lot. I like it. It's delicious. Have this around a campfire. I don't I don't know that I get the anything of the any of the charcoal though. Like you know how they charcoal filter they I mean I get a little bit. It's, I think it's, it's sugar maple. It's not they use yeah, yeah. sugar maple. Yeah, I don't get a lot of the char, but I get a little bit of the char. Well the charcoal's supposed to apparently make it smoother or cleaner. I don't know that that does it for me. Um, but I don't know where the cherry comes from. The cherry is just so oh, prevalent. It, it is prevalent. Yeah. So, hey, hey, tell us what you guys think in the comments. Yeah. Um, we, we're big on comments. I, I don't know if you guys have noticed or not. Interact. Um, both of us have, you know, the uh, creator YouTube thing on our phone. So the second you guys comment, typically we know. we know. We know. And we try to respond. We really like interacting with you guys. It doesn't matter if you're a normal active every day, you know, every Tuesday, Thursday commenter or just a... food quick. Yeah. <laughs> well, he, he comments quite a bit. He does, he does. That's what we to like, um, shout so out we, to him. He's a good guy. Some of you guys that we know watch a lot, but we don't see comments from, give us a comment. Um, yeah, if, let us know what we're doing. If there's something that you want to see, if there's something you're wondering about, if, if you're just getting into bourbon, do not be afraid to comment and say, hey, you know, what do you recommend, or would this be a good, would this, you know, bourbon that you're reviewing, or whiskey that you're reviewing be a good one? Or would um, you want us to review something that you haven't seen, or would you yeah. want, like us to drink it and say, hey, we, we, we like this, or we don't really like it? Uh, we don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know, well, I, I, I think that the beard is the same, I don't, I don't do this for the viewership, I do this for the um, community. Fine. The community and the fun, so yeah, it's all about the fun. Like, yeah, we're, we're not we're not trying. I mean, we're not trying to make a million dollars. We're just like, we're we're like you. Yeah. Do you guys like what we're doing? We like talking to people, and and interacting with people that enjoy whiskey and bourbon like we do. Um, so, give us a give us a comment. Let's 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 give chat. Give us a thumbs up. Let's chat. Hey, subscribe to our YouTube's. Uh, Follow us on the twa. B A T B at B A T B twenty one twenty seven Facebook dot com forward slash Bubba in the beard. We love your whiskey faces. Jack Daniels double bear or Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof is a gem. So go if you can yourself. drink it, we will review it. The basics. The basics. <laughs>